Hey folks, Derek Pierce here from TrafficDiesel.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to dive even further using Market Samurai for your keyword research to check the SEO competition to see if this is a keyword that you feel like that you can nail and actually rank for in the top of Google. Now if you recall in the previous video we used Market Samurai to create a list of keywords and in this example we're using the how to get, how to get a bigger butt niche. If you've not watched that video, then I'm going to include a link in the description below, so I encourage you to check that out. Also, if you've not downloaded the Market Samurai free trial, then I encourage you to do that as well and put that to the test. And yes, if you do buy that, that is a cleverly disguised affiliate link so that I can take my wonderful wife out to dinner and a movie. That is, if we eat cheap, that is. Um, anyway, Market Samurai is the best keyword research tool on the planet and there's no monthly fees or anything weird like that going on with it. So once you nail down your list of keywords and you have an idea how much search volume they have, that's not the only indicator that we look at. We gotta look and see what the top 10 are doing and the reason why they're ranking in the top 10 of Google. So what we do is we head over to the SEO competition tab. So I'm gonna click on that tab right now and you'll see there's two sections here that you want to have checked and that's off page as well as the on page off page factors are the number of backlinks it's the the age of the domain the on page factors are things like is the keyword in the title is the keyword in the description things like that that are actually on the page we want to be sure that both of these factors are checked because we want to check all that so once we have all of those checked we want to click generate results and as i said in the previous video success does leave clues and there's a reason why these sites are ranking in the top 10 of Google. The Google algorithm is a math mathematical algorithm and these meet the criteria of what Google is looking for and that's the reason why they're ranking in the top 10. So what we want to look at, you can see in this tab right here, this is the URLs that are ranking in the top 10 for our, our keyword, in this case, how to get a bigger buttocks. This DA, this is the age of the domain. This tells you how old the domain is and how much authority, you know, uh, gives you an indicator of how much authority Google has in this uh, has in this site. The older the domain, the easier it is for a site to rank. Then the IC is the number of con how much content and how many pages are indexed in the search engines. And I skipped the PR uh, tab. The PR is the page rank of this specific of these specific pages. Then you've got these three or four tabs right here that are referring to backlinks. You've got RDD, RDP, BLP, BLD. This would kind of, kind of be a little confusing, so I'm going to break it down for you as simple as I possibly can. The RDD, this is the number of referring domains that have links pointed to this domain. In this case, in this example, wikihow.com. So it's saying that there's 181,968 referring domains to wikihow.com so this is a huge authority site that have, that's got a lot of backlinks from a lot of different unique domains the RDP this is the number of referring domains to this specific page so th there's they're showing 225 unique domains that are referring that have backlinks pointed to this specific page so please don't um, please understand the difference in those two you've got the total number of referring domains that are referring to that entire domain this is the referring to the in all the pages in wikihow.com that's the RDD number the RDP is just to this specific page then you got the BLP this is the total number of backlinks that are pointed to this specific page so in, in this case they're saying there's 690 backlinks pointed to this specific page then you got the BLD number, the backlink to the domain. What this is saying is there's 12 million backlinks pointed to this domain that you see right here. So this gives us a lot of a lot of data as to how many backlinks they actually have. Then you look at the BLEG. This tells us how many links are coming from .gov and .edu sites. Now this next column is the DMZ. This is if it's listed in the Demos directory. The next column is if it's listed in the Yahoo directory, and the rest of these four columns that you see here, the title, UR, description, and head, these are all on-page optimization factors to see if this keyword is listed in either the title, the URL, description, or a header tag. 
So you, this gives you a good idea as to what the results on the first page are doing and it will also allow you to really see and really hone in and see how you could really one up your competition to see how uh, to see what it would take to rank ahead of some of these uh, websites and I mean I'm looking at this and I see that there's actually uh, room to, to be able to go in and to rank in the top of Google for this specific keyword I mean you're looking at the number two doesn't have a, just a ton of backlinks the number three doesn't have a ton of backlinks pointed to this specific pe page this is a the, the first the first position is a, is a really authority website and Google's putting a lot of uh, emphasis on authority sites that have age and have a lot of backlinks uh, same thing with this number three this seems to have a lot of backlinks but there's not a back a lot of backlinks pointed to this specific page same thing with this hub pages uh, uh, page right here that you see it doesn't have just a ton of backlinks so I see that there's a lot of opportunity here uh, because there's not a whole lot of backlinks pointing at these specific pages now don't get hung up on you know like this uh, internet or the index content being like 330 million or 19 million total backlinks this is to the total for the total youtube.com site which has a lot of authority so you can see there's some opportunity there because there's zero backlinks pointed to this specific page of this YouTube video so I hope that makes sense to you but this will give you a good idea of where you can really one up your competitors and see if you think that this is something that you can actually um, rank for now in my you know and what I would look at doing if I was going after this niche which we have set up a couple of sites for this before I built out a whole website I would see how I could do by ranking like a squadoo lens or a Facebook page like a like, do like a Facebook fan page or maybe doing a wordpress.com blog before I invested money in buying a domain and you know setting up hosting and getting content written and all that stuff I would just set up simple little uh, third-party sites like on Squidoo, wordpress.com maybe even Facebook and I would try to rank those and see how easily it would be for me to rank before I build out a fully functional website once I got those ranking and I was able to turn a small profit with those then I would look at uh, building that out depending on how much traffic I was getting so this will like I said this will give you a good idea as to what the competitors are doing and to see if you feel like you can uh, how difficult it would be to rank in the top 10 now you can look here and you can also click on these links right here and this will give you a breakdown of their top backlinks so like let's just say for example this number two improve your female curves I know that's something I've always wanted to do um, but you, you wanna let's say you wanna look at this you can click on this link right here and this will take you to the majestic SEO site and this will give you a breakdown of the backlinks summary so what you can see right here there's 89 referring domains 542 backlinks and you can click right here to see what their top backlinks are and this will tell you uh, what kind of authority now um, I think you get so many for free on this I have an account with majestic SEO so I'm gonna click register net or I'm gonna click login where's the login button I'm gonna log into my account and we're gonna just see the top backlinks so when I click top backlinks you can see right here this gives me where these backlinks are are coming from and it will also give me the anchor text and you can see what people are uh, linking to this specific page and this gives you so much information in terms of how you need to like take out these these top positions in Google so if you haven't downloaded already the free trial to market samurai I urge you to do that right now play around with it you're gonna find that this tool is, is gonna be is gonna benefit you so much because it's gonna allow you to not only generate keywords but also really spy on your competitors in the top 10 to see where their links are coming from and to see what actually they've done and see why they're ranking in the top of, of Google and really you just gotta put your detective hat on and look at this thing and say hey okay they're ranking and it's re the reason is because this the algorithms are shining on them why are they doing that these top results are there because of the 
search engine algorithms, which is nothing more than a mathematical equation. They're meeting the requirements that Google has put forth. So realize you've just got, again, you've got to do some research and the best way to do it is getting this, this software and you can grab it by using the link below this video here. Also, check out my blog at trafficdiesel.com. You can uh, grab a free WordPress plugin that will take your WordPress website and turn it into a search engine powerhouse. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment in the section below, whether you're at my blog or whether you're on my YouTube channel. Uh, but thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you real soon.